Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So in today's video I'm washing my makeup brushes. It has been four months since I cleaned my makeup brushes. It is long overdue. Do not do as I do. Please do as I say and wash your makeup brushes more often than I do. Um, but today we're going to be testing out this product here to see if this will make me want to wash my brushes more often because that is what I need. So this is the Style Pro Makeup Brush Cleaner and Dryer and the whole reason I don't wash my makeup brushes more often is because I use them every single day and I use all of these brushes so so regularly that I never want them like out of rotation like I always want to be able to use them so I hate having to sit down and wash them and then not use them for like two days while they're thoroughly thoroughly dry so I'm hoping that this being a dryer as well as a cleaner will make me wash my brushes more often so let's just get into the box and see how this works see how easy it is see how clean the brushes come out afterwards I know that some of these are going to be absolutely grim so let's just Let's just see, let's just test it out together, shall we? So in the box we have instructions, which I'm definitely going to pretend to read and then just do this whole thing without listening to the instructions. <laughs> so inside of here we have two makeup brushes, one that's more of like a dense sort of foundation brush and one that's like a powder brush. So obviously these ones are clean, so I don't need to clean these, I can set these aside. And then we have the handle. Um, I'm fairly certain that these come with like... I'm fairly certain that these come with like different patterns. This one has like paint splatters on. Um, it's got a little tab on the back. It says that this comes with batteries, which I was worrying about. <laughs> like having to run around my house trying to find some batteries that would fit this. So take that out. Ah, and it spins. It's working, jolly good. <laughs> then also in the box there is the like fish bowl with the lid on it. So this is where your water will go. Then there's different attachments. So there's all different sized attachments for sticking your brushes into that to then attach it to the handle. I've got a general idea of how this product works. I'm just not going to read the instructions, am I? And then it also comes with makeup brush cleanser. I might actually read how much of this I need versus water. And I do already have a jug of water here. So we are ready to just get on in, get on into the cleaning. Okay, I think I am actually going to read the instructions because it says on this, do not add water. So I'm going to read. I'm going to be right back. Okay, so it says for water soluble makeup, for example, blusher, bronzer and loose powder, squeeze a small amount of your preferred antibacterial liquid soap into the bowl. For non water soluble makeup, for example, foundation, add 10 to 20 millilitres of the Style Pro brush cleanser, depending on brush size, into the bowl. So I say we start with a foundation brush so that I can use this. Um, so it says to put, I'm glad I read the instructions because this is a lot more confusing than I thought it was going to be. I thought you just put water in this and that would be it, but no. So it says you want enough water or like liquid in the bowl until the water level is half the height of the brush bristles you wish to clean. Right, first things first, I need to zoom you back so that you can see my table and you can see what I'm doing. This is like I'm real life on QVC now, like, here is my table, I'm selling you my wares. Right, so, I'm going to start with, like, concealer brush. I have this foundation brush that's been dirty for so long that I haven't used it, but it's one of my favourites, the Seamless Complexion Brush from Real Techniques. Definitely, definitely need to clean that. Then I have this Duo Fibre one that I like to use, um like the e.l.f. halo glow sort of products with so let's find the correct size holder for each brush so i'll start with this one it says to push it onto this that feels 
quite secure. Then we put the liquid, oh it's a child lock. This doesn't smell of anything. I was expecting it to. I was expecting it to smell really like alcoholy, but it doesn't smell of anything. Right, so we need half the height of the bristles. I've already made a mess about that. You definitely, definitely can't see what I'm doing, can you? I don't know if that's any better, but that is as good as I can do with like the surroundings that I have. So I've got the liquid in here. Let's, let's just try it, shall we? I'm scared. What do I do? <laughs> so softly dunk the brush up and down in the liquid, pressing the brush lightly into the bowl to open the bristles slightly. Work liquid into the bristles, repeat for five seconds to avoid damaging the brush. Do not allow the metal ferrule go under the water cleanser level. After five seconds, whilst gently pressing the brush down in the bowl, switch the style pro. Switch on the style pro. I can read, I promise. Gently lift the style pro. The brush will start to spin rapidly, causing the liquid to splash up. Slowly move the brush up and down for 10 seconds, keeping the brush underneath the liquid level at all times. Okay, I think I get it. So I need to press this down into the cleaning solution that is already disgustingly coloured. Like I say, I am gross. <laughs> oh, it looks like milky tea. <laughs> right, and then I have to turn this on. Just making sure it's definitely stuck in there. Turn this on. Look at the colour of that water. Oh, that is disgusting. I'm so ashamed of myself. <laughs> So now I spin it outside of the water to dry it and it says not to do this for any more than 10 seconds at a time until it's dry. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now this brush should be both clean and dry. I mean it's not, no, it's not completely dry, I thought it was, it's not completely dry, but that is clean and that water is not. I don't even know if you can see how dirty that is, but that is like very very milky tea, that is like latte coloured. I am disgusting. Right, so now I'm interested to see, this is just a completely circular brush. I want to see how this one will work. So this is one of these like slanted ones, um, foundation brush. So let's find which of these will fit it. I think this one, it needs to be like a snug fit and it also needs to be in completely straight or it like goes around the outside of the thing. Using my technical words here. I am so interested to see how this one will work because obviously it's not central because some of the brushes are bristles are longer. Let's just see. That had so much makeup built on it, I thought I was going to have to do that twice and obviously my water is already dirty. I don't know why I keep lifting it up, you can see it just as well there. But I am so impressed. And like looking down, it looks like it's clean inside the bristles as well. That's so easy. I don't know how long this will take to dry but already that is so much quicker just to wash them even if I then had to leave these to dry that's so much quicker yeah I want to try it with one of these brushes next so this is my Real Techniques blush brush and obviously the bristles on this are a lot longer so 
this has powder on it so it says that I need to use not this so I'm going to go and chuck this away and then I'll be back to wash the blush brush with the powder on it and then I'll do some eyeshadow brushes I'll be right back okay so I tipped the contents of this out and it left like an oily residue all around the sink and all like in here was all oily so I don't know if this is like an oil based cleanser but now I'm thinking should I have not put that down my sink I don't think I will use this again I will just use what I normally use which is just any sort of antibacterial hand wash this is one from Creighton's Honestly, I didn't buy this, it just came free with um, a boots order, I think. So, I'm going to try and do the blush brush now. So, I'll just put a little bit of the hand soap in there. Obviously, you can get, like, antibacterial brush cleansers. I just don't have one. I have hand soap. <laughs> then, the water obviously the bristles are longer on this one so i'm gonna need more water i think we'll dip that in there get all of that soap mixed in and then Okay, so this one is still a little bit stained pink. I might try and do it again, however, that is pretty much completely dry. I think if I left that on a warm radiator for like half an hour, that would be completely dry. So that is a lot quicker than normal. Normally I would have to leave them like on a radiator at least overnight, but preferably for like a day. So I'm gonna try and do this again and see if I can get any more of that pink out of the bristles obviously i've used blush on this which is pink and incredibly pigmented so i will see if i can get this any cleaner Ooh, didn't like that that was like slipping out of the handle okay so this brush is obviously quite heavy it's a big brush and whilst that is angled down and also spinning, it's not coming out of the holder, but the holder is coming out of the device, if that makes sense. So just be wary of that. I feel like that needs a little bit more drying time. I feel like that has come up a little bit cleaner than it was. It does say that you need to like reshape it. And yeah, I think in half an hour or two, I would be happy to use that on my face again. I am just wondering if I should wash these two that I did with the cleanser, if I should do these again in the soapy water. I think I'm gonna do that because I don't know if I trust this being on my skin. Just me and my skin, you know? Okay, so that feels drier now after I've just rewashed that foundation brush in soapy water rather than the cleanser. Because this, I don't know what's in this, but because this has like that oily feeling, I feel like that is sort of coating the bristles and leaving them feeling a little oily. Like that's the only way that I can describe it. It just feels oily. But that one now feels clean so i will just do the same with that concealer brush yeah they definitely feel cleaner just by using soap and water so i will continue to do that in the future but let's use an eyeshadow brush next so i have a few eyeshadow brushes that are like double ended i have a few like face brushes as well that are double ended but mostly eyeshadow brushes and i don't think I would trust myself jamming one end of each brush into the little silicone holders. So I think these will always be 
a by hand job. So let's just grab a Beauty Bay brush and see which of these, yeah, I think most of the eyeshadow brushes will go into the smallest holder. I am aware that I probably need to clean the water, like get fresh water by now, but YOLO. <laughs> Okay, I think I had maybe slightly too much water on that one because I could see it like splashing up the like metal part of the brush. I could see it splashing up there. It did say, in fairness, it did say to not put too much water in here. So that is purely my fault, of course. So I am going to go off camera. I'm going to clean the rest of my brushes and then I will be back with whatever my final thoughts for this product may be. So far... I like it. So far it is probably going to make me wash my brushes more often. So let me finish doing all of these and then I will be right back. Okay so it's been around about 25 minutes and I've done all of these brushes. So these are like the ones that I use regularly. I do have another tub that need doing but I don't use those as regularly. So I'm just going to stick with these ones for now and I have some thoughts. So I tried to clean this brush here and this has like a squared handle like the end this end where you put the silicone thingy on this is squared and it wasn't spinning very sort of centrally I did struggle to do this one I did it eventually but it was more hard work than the other brushes also the real techniques blush brushes and also this brush which is from revolution pro um doesn't have a number or anything it's the one that i use for like halo glow and like those sort of primary steps these are too heavy so as this was in the little silicon holder thing which was in the machine the silicon holder was staying on the end of the brush but the holder was slipping off the applicator thing on the spinner if that makes any sense so as it was spinning it was spinning off um again it did work in the end it was just a little bit more work however all of these brushes have come up completely clean they feel dry like the first few that i did already feel completely dry like i would be happy to use these on my face even like the powder brushes i would feel happy using a powder and trying to apply it 25 minutes after i did it which is mind-blowing to me because i literally just washed them so i feel like this is going to be such a game changer for me like i'm definitely going to use this machine and this is me telling you now i am going to wash my makeup brushes more often is that a lie i'm going to really try my hardest <laughs> another point that i will make i kept an old towel on my knee whilst i was doing that so as i like brought the brush out and it does say in the instructions that you need to sort of reform them you need to like make them the right shape again so what i was doing i was i was taking the brush and i was just swirling it onto an old towel like this and it was making the brushes the right shape again and also just like making sure that they were nice and fluffy and also just another step of making sure that they were dry so that was another point that I wanted to make also some of these don't necessarily fit brushes in very well so for example my Beauty Bay eyeshadow brushes they are pointed down at the end and the holder that fits that size as I put that in then the spinny tool bit if I push this all the way into the holder it then couldn't go on to the spinny thing so this was like only just in the silicon holder again it still worked absolutely fine it was just making sure that this bit was attached to this bit and then this bit was attached to this bit 
But again, it did it, it was absolutely fine. It was definitely easier than like what I was doing, which was sitting over either my bathroom or my kitchen sink with like a silicon scrubby mat thing stuck in the bottom of the sink and scrubbing each brush. It was definitely quicker than that. It was definitely easier than that. And these are definitely dry, I will say. I don't think I will use this again. I just didn't like how my brushes felt after I used it and I also didn't trust chucking this down the sink. I don't know what was in this. It doesn't have any sort of ingredients in it which makes me a little bit anxious but I don't think I would use this again. So that is my final thoughts. Let me know. Have you tried this Style Pro cleanser before? I feel like it's definitely going to make cleaning my brushes more easy and less daunting like that's my problem i know that when i wash my brushes i'm going to be sat there for like an hour and a half so i just don't do it whereas that took me 25 minutes so for me i'm definitely glad that i have it but let me know if you have it if you have any tips and tricks for how to clean your brushes with ease then do let me know but until next time thank you ever so much for watching bye